about two years ago, two or three years ago, I saw a poster that was presented at a meeting that was a preliminary to a paper that ended up in the Journal of Urology. And it convinced me that I should rethink microwave therapy. It was a poster that had five-year data on cooled thermal therapy. And that right away was interesting to me. At five years, the patients were not taking any medications, had not had salvage therapy, and that was something that was important to me. The way I looked at it is I could offer a procedure right here in the office that was easy to do that had a 70% success rate at, at, at five years. And for me, that was a home run, that I could offer a patient something that could be done here in the office. They could walk out the door, not have to be kept overnight, and could be successfully treated. Cooled thermotherapy treats BPH by applying microwave energy to the prostate via the transurethral microwave catheter that precisely heats diseased areas while simultaneously cooling fluid and protecting the pain-sensitive urethral tissue. This method of circulating cooling fluid through the microwave catheter minimizes patient discomfort and risk of thermal damage to the urethra. The cooling of the urethra provides an analgesic effect during the treatment while maintaining the urethral temperature at less than 45 degrees Celsius. This effect allows the treatment to be performed in the physician's office without the need for general anesthesia. Continuous energy delivery allows for a durable and consistent treatment for many men with symptomatic and or obstructive BPH. The preservation of urethral integrity is a unique feature of cooled thermotherapy that defines it as a minimally invasive treatment and limits morbidity. They see it as a way to get off a daily medication and with the fact that we can treat the patients here in the office with very little complication and with very, very good success, they can look at a five-year data like I can. I sit down with them and show them the data and say, at five years, you could be going uh, with no medications, no surgery, no complications. And that's really a very uh, attractive factor for patients.